This is the Pythonic Accountant, and in this video, we're going to show you how to load up a very simple and very straightforward uh, trial balance in Excel and pull it into Python and do a couple of things with it and then export that to a CSV file. So first thing, if you have not already set up your Python environment, you should watch the first two videos before coming to this one. And now what we're going to do is go into the Miniconda prompt. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I'm going to activate my environment. Conda activate my ENV. Let's go navigate to the place where I have stored my Excel file that I'll be using. And I'm going to kick off Jupyter Lab. And I'm going to open this up in Chrome because I like it better there. Click on Python 3 and let's go ahead and rename this, call it TB load just for fun. So first, the way that the Jupyter Notebook works, and, or Jupyter Lab rather, which is the new version of Jupyter Notebook, is each of these cells you can type in code. And to run the code, you can click this play button or you can hold shift and press enter. So, for example, we're going to start by importing the pandas library. So I'm going to type import pandas as pd and shift enter. And now we've loaded up the pandas library, uh, but we've stored it in the variable pd. So it's easier to type pd than pandas. That's the typical way that people use pandas. So now we're going to actually load up this trial balance file. And it's actually a very simple one line of code to do that. So we're going to save it into a variable named df. So I'm going to say df equals pd.readxcel, and then give it the file name, tb.xlsx. And so now let's see what that file looks like. Um, and let's actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you what the original Excel file looks like so you can see what we're dealing with. As I mentioned, this is a very simple, very basic uh, file. Uh, so you've got you know your account, your name, and your balance, and then four accounts. So this is what it looks like in Excel. Now let's take a look at what it looks like in the Pandas data frame. Boom, there you go. Looks very familiar, I hope. You've got your account number, your account name, and your balance. And the first thing uh, as a, an ex-auditor that I like to do is check to make sure that my trial balance balances. So I'm going to take my df balance and sum that puppy Let's see what it gives me boom there you go zero that's what I like to see another thing you can do uh, with now that you're in the data frame you can actually do a whole bunch of interesting things we won't cover most of that in this video but we'll take a look at uh, what the different column types are if you do df.info you can see that there's uh, four entries with indexes ranging from 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, in Python, everything starts counting at 0. And you can see there's three columns. Columns are named account, name, and balance. There's four objects in the column. None of them are null. And then the data types here, These are this is, this is important because it tells you what you can do with the data and if it came in correctly. So for example, all of these accounts are number accounts with no decimal points or whatever, and no characters, uh, no strings rather. And so it's uh, showing up as an integer. Same thing with our balance, there's no decimals, so it's, it's picking those up as integers. And that means we can do math on it. If it brought it in as an object, it wouldn't let us do math. It would think it's a string and uh, give us problems if we tried to do math calculations. Um, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new column and just for fun, to show you how easy it is to create a new column, I'm going to create one that concatenates together the account number and the account name. So we're going to do df account num name. You can call it whatever you want. This is what I'm choosing to call it. And I'm going to do that equals df name plus, I'll do an underscore plus df uh, account. Actually, I did that backwards, so I'm going to do df account df name. And it didn't like that. Let's see why. 
Oh, I think it didn't like my my types. It's trying to combine together a string and a, an integer. So you know, I know that if I have two strings, like hello plus space plus world, that should give me hello world. But if I say hello plus five, it's going to give me that same error. So I think what we can do here is let's do uh, count dot as type actually yeah as type string this might work yeah there you go so now we've got this new column account number name with the account number underscore and the account name is one field so to export this to CSV it's very simple just as easy as we brought it in we do df dot two CSV and let's name it new tb dot csv and i'm gonna you can you can have it output the index numbers if you want but i usually choose not to if they're not meaningful in this case they're not meaningful so i'm going to do index equals false and you'll see as soon as i hit run it's going to create a new file up here so here we go boom new file created new tb so let's see what that looks like And now we've got our new trial balance with a new column added. So just as easy as that. So thank you for watching this video, and we will see you at the next one.